so you are considered a foreign medical graduate as well? Yeah. So there's like international medical graduates that are U.S. citizens like me that went to a school that is U.S. accredited, but it's not on U.S. soil. And then there's the foreign medical graduate. Yeah. Those are the yeah. graduates who, you know, went to school abroad. That's and then me. Came here. Yeah, like you. <laughs> and a lot of doctors I know, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We so kind you of intermingle that. a lot in our mm-hmm. rotations, so we get to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you were saying something. Oh, yeah. So I uh, went through my rotations. I went to my first two years in Dominica. I learned a lot about the people on the island. I went to a lot of clinics on the island, which was a really cool experience. Um, And then I went to the U.S. for my clerkship rotations. So that means I'm rotating through all the different subspecialties to see what I'm interested in. Um, And then... uh, I graduated from medical school and I started working as a clinical documentation specialist. Um, I started before then kind of as a scribe, kind of jumping around from job to job, but I settled into being a clinical documentation specialist after I graduated. Awesome. So tell us what a clinical documentation specialist does. Yeah. A lot of people have no idea. (laughs) That's kind of the first question I get. And a lot of doctors don't really know either. Um, it's actually kind of a new, kind of a newer job and it's kind of more for, it's bigger on kind of the coastal hospitals and is kind of growing in, in attention and kind of spreading toward the middle between, uh, the, the doctor, the clinician and the, uh, uh, coding and billing department. Uh, yeah. So we're the middleman between essentially the doctor and the coder. So the coders kind of have their own coding language and the doctors have their clinical language. So we're the nurses and the doctors that kind of work between the two and we'll ask questions to the doctor and to the coding specialist to make sure the the medical record looks clear. There's a lot of people that look at the charts after, you know, long after the patient has been discharged um, for medical research or for data analytics. And so we kind of make sure everything is clear and basically everyone's dotted their I's and crossed their T's and it looks, and it looks good, basically. 